welcome you all to the skill enhancement course cs3491 artificial intelligence and machine learning so today we will see about a simple bayesian network problem the problem was construct a bayesian network construct a simple bayesian network and define the necessary conditional probability table for the given scenario we have a back the back which comprising of three biased kinds the coins are named as A, B, and C. So that is comprised of three coins. The coins are named as A, B, C. If you are taking the coin A, which comes up ahead of 20%. So if you are taking coin A and flip it, then the 20% possibility for heading get head. Similar way, if you are taking coin B and flip it, and 60% possibility for heading head. Similar way, if you are flipping coin C, and 80% possibility for getting head. So, so the probability was 0 0.2, 0 0.6 and 0 0.8. Initially, one of the coin was drawn randomly from the back. So, you can take only one coin with equal likelihood drawing from each three coins. So, the three coins taken from the backs are equal likelihood. So, the probability was 1 by 3. And then the coin is flipped three times. If you take one coin and that coin is flipped three times, the outcome which represented as x1. Like a, if you take a coin, that is flipped one time, that is x1. The coin is again flipped, that is x2. The coin is again flipped, that is x3. The question was, draw the Bayesian network for corresponding setup and define the relevant conditional probability table and calculate which coin is most likely to have been drawn if the flip comes up in h, h, t, head, head and head. Calculate which coin is most likely to have been drawn if the flip comes from two heads at one time. So initially, the back is comprising of three coins. So A, B, and C. So if the coin A which taken from the back and the head arrives for 20 percentage point two, then B which taken from the back, the head arrives for 60 percentage so point six probability. Similar way, if the coin C taken the probability was 0.8 then this is a coin so all those coins are equally likelihood so taken from that back so the probability of taking coin a is 1 by 3 because the back is comprising of three coins so 1 by 3 taking coin b is equal probability so 1 by 3 then c is also 1 by 3 then you can take only one coin from that back that coin is flipped for three times. That's x1, x2, x3. So this is a children. Flipped coin is a children of coin. So now, if you are taking the coin A, which flipped there, if the coin was A was taken and flipped, the x was the possibility for x, the value was head is 20 percentage, that is 0 0.2. So if the x was head, the possibility was 20 percentage, that is 0 0.2. Similar way, if you take the coin B and flip it, the possibility for getting head is 60%, so 0.6. Similar way, if you are taking coin C, then you can flip it and possibility for getting head was 80%, that is 0.8. So, and the reverse, if you are getting tail, so 1 minus 0.2, that is 0.8. Similar way, if you are getting head tail in the coin B, 1 minus 0.6, that is 0 0.4. Similar way, if you are getting tail in coin C, that is 1 minus 0.8, that is 0 0.2. So fine. This is conditional probability table and Bayesian network for question number A. Now you can find flipped coin given that coin. So flipped coin given that coin, which is equal to flipped coin given coin into flipped coin divided by flip uh, coin divided by flipped coin, but in independent property which directly represents as flip coin divided by coin. Okay. Then now, initially I can take the coin A. Initially I can take the coin A. So it's a red color coin, so the color which represents is red. So if x1 equal to head, if x1 equal to head, and x2 equal to head, and x3 equal to tail, of coin C equal to A. So x1 equal to head, x2 equal to head, and x3 equal to tail, of coin given that coin c equal to a 
So that is represented as x1 equal to h given that chi equal to a, x2 equal to h given that chi equal to a, x3 sorry this is not represented x3 wrongly represented. So So, okay. Then x3 equal to 10, then c equal to a. So, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.8. So, the answer is 0 0.032. 0 0.032. It's for chi a was taken. If something, uh, head, head, tail, uh, the chi, there are three possibility of that chi. One for head, head, tail. Otherwise, head, tail, head. Otherwise, tail, head. head. So, two head and one tail. So the probability was there are three possibilities, three equal possibilities. So the answer is 0 0.032, which multiplied with 3, that is 0 0.096. Similar for the coin B. If you take coin B, if you take coin B, then you can take x1 equal to head, x2 equal to head, this is wrong, x3 equal to tail. So the probability was x1 equal to head 0.6, you have coin B x2 equal to head 0.6 because coin b, x3 equal to tail is 0.4 given that coin equal to b. So multiply that, the answer is 0 0.144. If two tail, two head, one tail, so three possibility. So the answer is multiplied by 3, that is 0 0.432. Similar for the coin c, so head, head, tail, so 80 percentage for coin c, so 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.2. So, 0.128. There are three possibilities if two heads and one tail. So, multiplied by three, that is 0 0.387. So, now figure from that, if head, head, tail, that is question number B, is for chi A is 0 0.032, chi B is 0 0.144, chi C is 0 0.128. So, the highest probability is 0 0.144. So, chi B is most likely have been drawn. Similar way, if two heads, one tail. In that case also, 0 0.096, 0 0.432, 0 0.387. So, the greater value is 0 0.432. So, the chi B is most likely have been drawn. Thanks for watching.